Following on from our previous video, let's now try and integrate natural log of x for a general case to the power of n. Okay, so, so following our normal routine, um, let's u be this whole thing here. So let's u be this whole thing here, and then let's v prime be the number one. Okay, so let's v prime be one. Well, if u equals this thing here, then uh, the u prime must equal this thing here because if you differentiate this, the n goes down, so that's this n here. The uh, the bubble here stays intact, so the bubble here stays intact. But then you got to times with the derivative of the bubble itself, which would be this. And then v, well, if v prime equals one, then v equals x. So now follow this uh, this formula here. So uh, u times v, well u is here times v. So that would be that would be uh, x uh, x natural law of x and then to the power of n and then uh, and then you've got a takeaway here take away the integral of u prime uh, u u prime would be this thing and then v times v so that's this v here times this so um so these two will cancel well okay u prime equals this uh, n natural log of x times 1 over x and then v equals uh, x here, and then you've got your dx here, which is um, which is dx here. Okay. So now uh, now these two will cancel each other out, uh, and then and then this is a constant, so take it out here. So so this whole thing here will then become this. Will then become this. So what what it's saying is that if if you want to integrate if you want to integrate uh, natural log of x to the power of n, then uh, then just blindly shut off your brain and just do this part. This part's easy, um, but then uh, but then you do need to integrate this thing here. Okay, so you you do need to integrate this thing here. But the good thing is that this thing here is slightly simple. Uh, it's it's uh, slightly simpler than than this than this thing here, because this is to the power of n, and this is one notch down, n to the power of my to n minus one. So, so if you want to integrate this, this bit here, you just blindly do it because it's quite straightforward. Uh, and then the n here, um, just just notice that the the n the n goes well. If you want to integrate this, then simply do this, and then and then you've got to work out the integral. Then then you still got to try and work this bit out. Okay. So so here you would repeat the process. But the good thing is that this bit is slightly easier. Than this, okay. So this is your reduction formula because it's it's reducing it by one each time, okay. So this is your reduction formula.